Welcome to my shop. In this video, I'll show you a process I use to make these wooden drawer slides for this piece of furniture. Stick around to the end and I'll show you a simple way to ensure your drawer faces align with the front of the frame and ensure that your drawers don't fall out when you extend them all the way. There are three reasons I decided to go this route. The first is cost. Decent drawer slides can cost you anywhere from 10 to 50 plus dollars, depending on the type you get. And I've got two drawers here, so I didn't want to spend that kind of money on this piece of furniture. The second reason is space. A typical drawer slide is about a half inch thick. Two of these is an inch of space that you're taking away from the width of your drawer. As you can see here, my drawers go right to the edge of the face frame, so I maximize the width of the drawer by eliminating the drawer slides on the sides. And if you put drawer slides on the bottom, you're taking up depth for the drawer itself. And then the third piece is I just wanted more traditional type of look and feel on the furniture. I didn't want it to feel like a modern piece of furniture. So let me walk you through the process on how you can build these wooden drawer slides. To get started, cut down a piece of three quarter inch plywood to attach the runners to. You want to use the plywood because it's a stable material that's not going to change with the seasons. Expansion and contraction could shift how the rails line up and affect the fit. Next you have to determine where the drawer runners need to be in relation to the opening on the front of the frame. In order to do this, clamp the plywood to the face of the frame. Now lay the drawer on top of the plywood and use some cards to figure out what the gap is between the drawer and the frame. Then split the cards in half and use them as a spacer to make your pencil marks on the plywood. Be careful to only mark the side of the plywood that's going to be at the front of the opening and then use a square to make sure you have a straight line going back. Next, cut down the board you're going to use as the runners. The harder the wood, the better. And based on the thickness, determine how wide your dados are that need to be cut in the plywood. If you don't have a dado blade, you can take multiple passes with a regular blade and just keep adjusting the fence. Take a test cut by barely letting the blade kiss the wood and double check that the cut is aligned with your marks. Once all the dados are cut, drill holes with countersinks from the back side. This will add some strength to the glue joint. Now that the two runner panels are complete, it's time to install them inside the frame. Dry fit them by clamping them inside the frame and use the cards to make sure they're lined up correctly. Then do a test fit with the drawers themselves. Once everything's lined up correctly, install the panels with the screws. At this point, you're almost done. The last step is to install some hardwood strips along the sides to keep the drawers from racking and becoming difficult to slide in and out. Use a square against the frame to make sure that they're mounted straight and mirror your reveal on either side. Do not glue these down. If you ever need to adjust these for any reason, it'll be impossible. Instead, use three screws to hold the hardwood strips in place. As I mentioned at the beginning of the video, here's a simple way to ensure that your drawer faces line up and that the drawers don't pull out and fall out when you extend them all the way. First, cut away little strips of hardwood. The ones I used were about an inch and a quarter long. Sand the corners to round them over. These don't need to be perfect as they're about function and really won't be seen. Next, drill some countersunk holes on one side of each one of these pieces. Then sand them by hand just to smooth over the edges. To install them, line them up so they're just hanging below the opening of the face frame on the inside, then drill a small pilot hole. Be careful here not to drill all the way through your face frame. And then screw them in just snug enough so you can turn them up and out of the way if you need to remove the drawer. I recommend you put one on each side to make sure both sides line up the same. 
So there you have it. As you can see, these slide pretty smooth. If the drawer doesn't slide easily for you, the first thing I would do is take a piece of sandpaper and sand the bottom corners just to make sure that you have no sharp edges on the drawers that could be grabbing the runners. The second thing you can do is get some finishing wax and apply those to the runners as well. That'll make them nice and slippery. So that's the video. I hope you liked this video. If you did, do me a favor, hit the like button and subscribe to my channel so you get alerted when I have new videos come out.